Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray on ESPN 790 AM. Brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Hey, welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray as we close out today's show. And it, it, it has been, Man, it's been a fast hour. And then a fast hour minutes. and 15 minutes we've yeah. got here. And, uh, and you know that it's not Frank Barton's voice that you hear normally on the third Saturday. Frank is in oh, Palestine, this, this, Texas. Oh, there's Frank with his FM voice. It, yeah, we don't want okay. to get to it. But Frank is giving us a live report from the – tell our listeners, Frank. Uh, it's the 2017 Master National Retriever Hunt Test in Tennessee Colony, Texas, at a place called the Big Woods on the Trinity. And how many dogs did you uh, go through as we near this uh, final weekend here? Uh, we started the uh, we started with 820 dogs that were <laughs> entered the event. Wow! We 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 are in uh, we are finishing up our third series. Okay. Probably at least the group that I'm with may actually finish it up while while I'm on the radio with you, uh, and then we'll quickly move over and do our fourth series for. We're going to do a total of six series. We'll finish sometime Saturday afternoon. Now you uh, right now you you've got dogs competing right now because you were just t- announcing the dog's name a while ago. So, yeah, I'm watching. The, I'm 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 watching the dog. This dog that I'm watching right now, his name is Big Wood Spooky Rudy Blu Ray. There it is. And, yeah, uh, it is. And it is owned by actually it is owned by the landowner out here, a fellow named Robert McFarland. Okay. We all call him Doc, and uh, it's a wonderful place. Eight thousand acres of uh, of a uh, managed game area, and uh, he's allowing us to be out here, and it's just it's just wonderful. The weather's perfect, yes. and uh, the dog work is doing quite nicely right now. And you can go to the website. I've been looking at the website. Uh, I've seen Frank a couple of times in pictures and uh, information about these dogs because. Uh, this is a, like a two and a half week event, Frank, or something like that. Uh, it's it started on Saturday, um, and it'll run through. Uh, we'll finish this Saturday, uh, and we'll do our awards presentation Sunday morning. So it's about tw- plan, it's, plan it's right now. It's about ten days, something like that. Now, that's that's yeah. correct. Now we were out here the week before. We've been out here. I've been out here for two weeks now. I know you have. Yeah, uh, getting ready. Setting up, you know we. Setting, you know, setting all these tests up. We we set up a total of seventeen different tests. Wow! Uh, <laughs> dogs are divided up into six different groups, and uh, we rotate around um, uh, the area doing um, three land. E- each group will do a total of two land tests, two water tests, and two land. We call them combos or land water. That's uh, all. Dogs dogs will pick up a total. Uh, they'll pick up a total of uh, 18 marks and eight. They'll do eight different blind retrieves while they're out here. And your title is your secretary, aren't you, or something like I'm, that? I'm, I'm I'm the event secretary, which means yeah. you keep up with all of the dogs, right? I tell everybody, "What do you do all week?" And I said, "I count. I count <laughs> the number of dogs that are, count the number of dogs that are running. Count how many more dogs we've got till we finish. Yes, count." how many dogs everybody else got has to their finish so that we when we go to the next test uh, we don't uh we keep everybody running and we don't have we don't want anybody having to wait on somebody else to finish up so that we can roll through here so uh i count a you lot count. but you love but, it you love uh, it the two weeks you're down there you don't count dogs in your sleep do you uh, I do, as a matter okay. of fact. Well, I've got a new event. Next time, take Larry with you, and you can add no, a new no. field test. It's it's no. the Bark at Larry, you know. No, don't. The, the Bark at Larry test. No, no, have that, him walk by and see if they'll Bark at Larry. No, he's happy to have Lynn with him. Yeah, he doesn't need uh, <laughs> uh, me down there and everything. So I know there's always some really great dogs in this event, uh, Frank. Uh, some of them that uh, – you have seen over the years and you've been involved with the organization several years i know uh is there is there one coming out this year that uh yes yes there is um the dog that we're really all rooting for right now is a dog called uh long pong's moxie stole my thunder give me just a minute i'm gonna inter- i'm gonna introduce another dog okay go ahead dog number 24 dark timbers gunsmoke and jazz master hunter Handled by Amber Everett. 
Okay. That Back was great. With you. I, I, uh, that was great, I, man. I, you know, I, I, it's kind of like that. When Damon dogs like that, I want to know how many adult beverages are consumed oh, <laughs> before they come up with a dog's name. <laughs> well, you know? All right, so back back on Moxie. Uh, this My- dog is from New York. Um, it's uh, owned and handled by uh, a, a lady named Sandy Barraby. It currently is a, a, we call it an MNH dog. It is past this event. Eight times. Eight times. And this is eight times. There have only been three dogs that have passed the event nine times. Uh, they've all been handled by uh, men. Uh-huh. And uh, Sandy may be breaking that glass ceiling uh, wow. with, with this dog. And the most amazing thing about this dog is in the eight times that it has been out and running this event, it has never had to be handled on a mark by the handler. And that means the dog has been able to find every one of the marks for the last eight years all on its own without any assistance. And that's never been done before. Wow. And this dog is uh, obviously a, a seasoned dog then. if it's, I mean, it's, it's been there and done it before. And, and now it has a chance to do something, particularly with, a, with the, the lady, uh, being the part of that uh, thing. And that dog's name again is Moxie? Long Pond Moxie Stole My... Excuse me, Long Pond's Roxy Stole My Thunder. That's a great name. Isn't it? Right. Yeah. Frank, thank you, buddy. Uh, uh, be careful coming back. Look forward to talking to you, and we'll hook up again. And then again, folks, uh, I'm assuming this Saturday morning they'll all the uh, the Barton Power Sports will be open and... Uh, in, in West Memphis, across from the dog track, uh, at uh, eight o'clock, right? Uh, um, eight o'clock. Yeah, and if then they, the, and if then, they do everything like I tell them, to they do better be. Yeah. And, and then the new uh, new facility on Mount Moriah, that is the Polaris, the Indian uh, motorcycle. Of course, I've got a T-shirt, and everybody's asking me where's my motorcycle. Well, I said I'm working from the bottom up. I got the T-shirt right now. Yeah, that's where I start with working you know. on the training wheels. All right, thanks, Frank. Be careful. Talk to you. Okay, Larry, y'all take care. <laughs> All right, Frank uh, Barton. And, you know, uh, you guys, uh, I, I, the app is out. I want to talk quickly about the, the app. The but, new uh, app is out. Uh, if you have the an iPhone, mm-hmm. and that operating system, you know, you can go to the app, and it will update automatically. So you're going to help me up uh, load the app onto okay. my phone today. Okay, and if, but <laughs> if you have another operating system, I don't. like an Android, no, that's uh, you have space. to you have to I don't want to delete that. the app and then reload it. Okay. Go back. I've got the so. TWR app on my phone. Okay, it should uh, it should update automatically. Automatically. Mm-hmm. Okay, it should have that when so, you open it up. It that, should may prompt you to do a couple of steps, but it should do it automatically. Okay. All right. Well, the, Dave is filling in for Frank and did very well, and we appreciate uh, him doing that. And Dave will be back. Uh, uh, on the first Saturday in no- uh, November, uh, we will uh, have Dave and uh, Brother Daryl in the st- in the studio with us, uh, talking to TWRA. And again, y- you know, go to lroutdoors.com. Uh, we'll have these shows uh, posted later today too. If you missed it, uh, Stuart Settles has been settling in as our show mm-hmm. producer, and we appreciate Stuart filling in for the uh, grocery man who's out there wallowing in produce. Uh, and that is Greg Ratliff. I almost forgot his name. You know, he's moved on. Uh, uh, I don't know what, who's going to be here next week, but uh, <laughs> I don't really know, do I? <laughs> kind of like, huh? like a retriever trial. And well, let's see. Next, w- next week will be the 28th, and then you will be back in with us on the following week after that. So yeah. next week will be Ron and Bill Cooksey. And let me tell you about some of the guests that we've hooked up with uh we're going to talk to Jesse Higgins. Oh, Higgins. No, Higgins. That was with uh, 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 Tom Selleck in that show uh, he had. Uh, Jesse Wiggins. Wiggins. Uh, he recently won the Bass Pro Shops Bassmaster Southern Open, and we'll have him along with FLW Pro Fisherman James Watson. Listen to this. James is a member of the USA team uh, who fished against 18 countries recently in South Africa for the World Championship of Bass Tournaments. 
So we're going to have on uh, James Watson to talk about fishing in South Africa. Uh, Kevin Goodrum, uh, the district chairman for the North Delta Hills uh, DU chapter, talking about their big banquet coming up on November the 3rd. And then we're going to talk about R- Rapala, as some people say, or Rapala. I always uh, said Rapala. Yeah, I did, but it's Rapala. Rapala? To- that's what I've been told, but I, I go with just rap. You know, so uh, that's big right now. They ought to have a rap for that fishing uh. lure, but it is. But uh, Ryan Martinez is going to be on talking about uh, fishing lures. And then the first Saturday in November is the opening day of the muzzleloading season. Uh, I'm not going to be in the field that morning. We'll just have, we're going to all stay in studio and talk because we've suddenly realized that we, due to daylight savings times, I only have 25 minutes to shoot a deer. You don't even have that much. I don't even have that much. It's, it's, it's still I've tough. killed deer We're right no, after we got yeah. off the air. But so. we are, if everything works out, the opening day of gun season. Yeah. We're yeah. going to let you whisper. Yes, I'll whisper that day. You know, But there won't be any. I do have my, I have three ground blinds set up, including Dave's, uh, and that one's set up in, Hard, in Hardin County. Let's see. Yeah, Hardin County. Then I have the one set up in, uh, in, near Whiteville at the McCrory Farm. Then I'm going to have another one set up at the uh, Tigner Farm near Bolivar. So I should be grounded, well yep. grounded, in, uh, in in deer season. And that's that's the time for us to do it right. And Dave Gabbard has been gracious enough to get my firearms ready. Tuned up. Yeah. Yep. My, my muzzleloader is ready. Yep. And I'm going to say right now, folks, if you think your muzzleloader is clean, Check it again, right? <laughs> yes. Been, what was wrong? Uh, with, I, I had done mine, but you found some defects that I. Oh, the in lines, you really, really <laughs> like you shoot. You really have to, you know, because most people shoot the bull, the, the bullets with the sabots. Yeah. Or the sabots, if you want to go. Yeah, but you've come but, up with something, and, and I got to show that to my hunting party because. You've come up with a little thing that goes between them. Oh yeah, you got to because you know if you if you. That sabot's made out of plastic. Yes. And yeah. If you see it right on the pellets, because most people like you shoot, That's what shoot I do. the pellet. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh You know, plastic melts. And so you're saying this thing, and I and I didn't bring it with me today to look at, but we'll talk about it on yeah. on the morning before I go hunting after the show. Uh, but it it it's you make these things. No, I buy them. You can buy them. Yeah, you can go. It's a little. Buy them, yeah. It looks like it looks like. Uh, it's like the old fiber shotgun yes, cell wad that's what that I was you trying to used say. to reload yeah. with. Yeah, now it, and it will go in there real easy, like. Right? Oh, it slides right now. It slides yeah. on down, and then the sabot goes. So you've got this little, whatever it's made out of, yeah. between, fiber, fiber between the sabot and the, the pellets. Powder. Okay, and it's taking the heat, and so it gives you more opportunity to shoot. Well, right? it, it, yeah, it keeps your rifling in your barrel from getting clogged up with plastic. So how you can, so I can shoot twice at least easily. Oh, you can shoot more times than that. I can. Mm-hmm. So we're going to talk a lot about that on opening day of the muzzleloading season before I go hunting because Dave has cleaned mine and found that mine was not very clean. Right. Is that all you're going to say? It, yeah, it was. It was like Gumby inside that thing. <laughs> And then so also we're going to talk a lot about getting your rifle ready. Yeah. Because Dave has got my two seventy and he's going to yeah he's going to clean if you go that. To, yeah, I've, it's ready to go. I, you know, if you go to LR Outdoors, you should have a little thing. That he I'll put has on written there. a great story called "Hit the Mark." Right. Yeah, hitting the mark, hitting, hitting your mark, hitting your mark, and we've got that posted on lroutdoors.com. Uh, if it's not posted, it will be posted tomorrow because I, I I'm just. Can't decide what picture to run with it. Do I want to run what Dave really looks like, or do I want to run some photographs so I have a Dave that uh, I might just run them all? <laughs> I'd run them all. So, yeah. you know, so that's going to, we're, we're talking about, because a lot of folks will go into, I'm not just saying, they're going to go into Walmart the night before muzzleloader season opens mm-hmm. and not have any training. You need to get your gun sighted in, right? Right. And now uh, this is this is the time to be doing that. Yeah, and I know my friend. A lot of my friends uh, are at the Mid- at the Memphis Sports Union Association range out there, including my buddy has joined it out uh, there because because a lot of people, uh, you know, the hunting area 
You uh-huh. know, it might be the only place they can go sight their rifle in. Right. Well, yeah. you need to do that now because I, you know, I've found like before opening day, I don't even want to be in there the week before. No, no. I want to have all my stuff set up and ready to go. Yeah, inside and not down. any, you know. Uh, that's why we're just going. Disturb anything, you know, the week prior. We're going Monday. Uh, we went up this past Monday, but we're going back Monday and set up everything. And we've got. You, did you bring me those? Uh, I up sure did. And those, he's got some little markers that I'm going to be able to know what distance I'm. Yeah, she won't at. range it out. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's going to be really fun. But uh, Stuart, how we doing? We're good. All right, let's get out of here because Stuart says we're good, and Stuart says we're good. We are good. Good, yeah. Thank you, Dave Gabbert, for being oh, here. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm I'm glad I could fill Frank's shoes today. Yeah, you, but you 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 didn't have Frank's voice. Well, let's see, let, can, can you say that? Can you get in Frank's voice before we let get out of here? I don't know. If there it is. Frank you got it right there. No, you did it. You did it right there. All right, <laughs> this is Larry Ray reminding you as I do each and every week. What that it doesn't cost an extra cent to be a good sport, and what. God God bless bless the USA. USA. You can find.